Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity inter VRAN routing challenge. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA project support or CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Coming back to our packet tracer activity, uh, here we can see a tracing table with these devices R1, S1, PC1, PC2, PC3, and a server. Here we can see VLAN and the port assignments table. We have these VLANs, VLAN 10, 20, 30, 88, and 99 their names and their interfaces. Coming to the scenario, in this activity, we will demonstrate and reinforce your ability to implement inter-VLAN routing, including configuring IP addresses, VLANs, trunking, and sub-interfaces. Okay, we will go through each instructions and we will configure uh, this activity. Uh, configure the devices to meet the following requirements. Assign IP addressing to R1 and S1 based on the addressing table. Okay, we will do that coming to our addressing table. Uh, first of all, we will assign IP address for uh, this uh, device R1. So we will go to R1 CLI. We will give enable. We, get, we can give the show command show IP interface brief and we will see the details. Here we can see this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 is configured with IP address 172.17.25.2. Okay, right. I think it's uh, connecting to this uh, HQ G0 slash 0. Yes, it's correct. So here we have to configure these sub interfaces G0 slash 1.10, 20, 30, 88, and 99. Uh, here we can see that physical interface uh, G0 slash 1. So again, coming to R1, we will do that configuration one by one. Configure terminal. First of all, we will go to the interface G0 slash 1.10. And we will set this IP address. Before that, we have to give the encapsulation dot one Q, right? Dot one Q. This is for VLAN ten. Then we will set this IP address. We'll copy it, and we can see it's to mask IP address. Here is the address, then it's a submit to mask. Press enter. Now we will configure the sub interface G0 slash 1.20. We will exit from this sub interface, then we will go to interface G0 slash 1.20. Then we will give a encapsulation dot 1q, it's for VLAN 20. Then we will set its IP address. It's 172.17.20.1. Also, we have to give it a submit mask. Then press enter. Next, we will configure the sub interface G0 slash 1.30. We will exit from here. Even without uh, exit, we can go to that interface. Okay, no, anyways, we will exit and then we will go to interface uh, G0 slash 1.30, right? So we have to give an encapsulation dot 1Q, uh, VLAN ID is 30, then we will set its IP address as per our addressing table, it's a 30.1. Then we have to give it something to mask. Then 
next we will go for g0 slash 1.88 exit then interface g0 slash 1.88 encapsulation dot 1q vlan id 88 ip address it's a 88 dot one then to mask here we can see our percentage is increasing completion status shows 46 okay so now we will configure the sub interface so g0 slash 1.99 okay we will do that exit interface g0 slash 1.99 right you will give a encapsulation dot 1q this is for vlan id i mean 99 okay we will set its ip address it's a 99.1 then it's submit to mask okay Here we configured all the sub interfaces in this router R1. Coming to our topology, we can see uh, this uh, link between uh, these devices R1 and S1 is down. That means we have to bring this physical interface up. That is G0 slash 1, right? Yes. So we will exit from this sub interface. Then we have to go to that physical interface. That is G0 slash 1. Then we have to give a no shut command or no shutdown and press enter so we can see all the sub interfaces also become up here we can see that now we can see the link between these devices r1 and s1 is up next we will configure this switch s1 and here we can see uh, for the interface VLAN 99, uh, we have to set this IP address and this into mask. Also, we have to set its a default gateway. We will copy this IP address. Then coming to S1, we will go to CLI. Okay. Enable configure terminal. We will go to the interface uh, VLAN 99 okay then we will set the ip address we already copied that then it says certain to mask then press enter okay we will exit then we have to set its ip default gateway it suggests i will paste it it's a 99.1 next is configure the default gateway on s1 yes we done that we configured default gateway on s1 then create name and assign vlans on s1 based on the vlan and port assignments table ports should be in access mode your vlan names should match the names in the table exactly actually this is for a scoring purpose okay we will create these uh, vlans with these names so we will go to this uh, switch s1 we'll keep it here okay okay for more visibility So we will exit from this we will create vlan 10 then we will give the name as uh, faculty slash staff it's here right okay then we will create a vlan 20 name is uh, students next is vlan 30 name is guest in bracket we will give a default
okay now we will create a VLAN 88 name is a native next is VLAN 99 and we can see now this interface VLAN 99 changed state to up okay you will give the name as a management we created all the vlans as per this uh, vlan uh, table now we will uh, assign uh, ports to this vlan here we can see uh, we have to uh, assign these interfaces to these vlans uh, fa0 slash 11 till 17 we have to assign to 10 then from 18 till 24 vlan 20 then fa0 slash 6 till 10 to vlan 30 then this interface g0 slash 1 uh, should be in a vlan 88 okay we will do that but here we can see this interface g0 slash 1 we have to uh, configure as a native vlan okay we have we will do that we will do it one by one coming back to s1 first of all we will go to all these interfaces fa0 slash 11 till 17 we will exit from this uh, vlan then we will go to interface as a range we will go to fa0 slash 11 till 17 right then we will give a switch port mode as access then switch port access a vlan 10 then press enter then we will go to uh, interface fa0 slash 18 till 24 we will exit then we will go to interface as a range fa0 slash 18 till 24 then uh, switch port uh, modus access then uh, switch port access vlan 20 then uh, interface fa0 slash 6 till 10 exit go to interfaces as a range fa0 slash 6 till 10 okay then we will give a switch port a mode as access switch port access vlan 30 next is configure g0 slash 1 of s1 as a static trunk and assign the native vlan we can see we have to assign native vlan uh, 88 okay so we will do that we'll go to s1 we will exit from this uh, interfaces then we will go to interface uh, g0 slash 1 here we will give a switch port a mode as a trunk also we will give a switch port trunk native vlan 88 right then press enter. Next, all ports that are not assigned to a VLAN should be disabled. Okay, we have to shut down all the unused ports. Okay, now coming to our topology, here we can see uh, all the used ports. Uh, we can see uh, G0 slash 1, uh, it's FA0 slash 11. This is uh, fa0 slash 6 and we have fa0 slash 18 so we will shut down all the ports except these four okay we will do that we will exit from this then we will go to interfaces as a range fa0 slash 1 till 5 then fa0 slash uh, 6 already used so 7 till 10 11 used then fa 0 slash 12 till 17 right because 18 we used 
yes comma f a 0 slash 19 till 24 also we not use the g 0 slash 2 then press enter we will give a shutdown Next is configure inter VLAN routing on R1 based on the addressing table. So we configured all these sub interfaces in this router R1. But uh, here we can see our completion status shows 99 percentage uh, because we can see we configured this uh, interface G0 slash 1.88. Also, we given encapsulation dot 1Q88, uh, but we did not give native. Right, so that also we will configure in this router R1. We will do that coming to R1. Okay, we will give enable conf t. Then we will go to that interface that is g0 slash 1.88. Right, then we have to give this command encapsulation dot 1q88 space question mark here we can see uh, make this as a native vlan so we have to give a native then press enter coming to the final instruction verify connectivity R1, S1 and all PCs should be able to ping each other and the server. Okay, we will uh, test this connectivity now. Okay, we will uh, ping from all these PCs uh, to this uh, server. We will get the IP address of our server. Just will copy from our addressing table. Coming to PC1, we will go to command prompt and here we will uh, ping to the server. We are waiting for the replies. Request timed out. Maybe one or two request timed out we may get. Okay, we get one request time, I mean a three request timeout and one reply. So once more we'll press up arrow. And here we can see we get the replies. We will try from PC2 to the server. We we'll go to command prompt. Sorry, ping to server. Here is the address. Same way. Yeah, it's working now. Now we will go to PC3 command prompt. Ping to the server. We get the replies it's working so in this video we have seen uh, this packet tracer activity inter vlan routing challenge here we can see the completion status it's 100 percent now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this activity please comment below also if you like your video give a thumb and share with all your friends and if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.